My eyes are puffy? The bad is finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, girl gang. Hello, everybody. It is so good to see you guys. And it is so, so good to be here. We finally got a rage, y'all. Listen, listen. A little bit of backstory, and then you know we're snippety sniping. We're going right in, okay? We want to see the rage. We have waited patiently through months and months of nothing. Okay, here's what I know. I'm sorry. This is a, a stream with a very short notice, and I whatever. We're late tonight. I'm sorry. I got home late, and I got right on the Twitter when I got home, and I saw a clip of Koki live on his channel with Didi. And they were talking about how on Monday, on Monday, the day of the, what, four-hour fake relationship of Chantal and the Cypriot guy, um, Chantal reached out to Didi, Chantal messaged Didi to try to get in contact with Koki because she doesn't have Koki's phone number anymore. She wanted to talk to Koki on Monday, like this past Monday, three days ago. Oh my God. So they are on live stream talking about all that. So lunatic of course has to come live right away and she's raging about Koki. So let's get into it. Hey, Julie, thank you for being here. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. <laughs> no one's judging drippy here, girl. We're, we have a rage stream. Everybody ran to the computer. I gave a 10 minute warning. We never do that over here. Oh. Okay, breathe, breathe. Let's get into it, okay? We're going to go back to the beginning. We're going to speed her up. You know how we do when we catch up in real time. We'll pop on our chat. Hold on. Oh, she's so mad. Look, just look at her face before we even get started. This is how her stream is starting. Look at the rage. Look at, look at her nose is all red. Look at her squinty, beady eyes. And look at that mouth. Urgh, the teeth are like clenched. This is going to be good, y'all. Rad Plaid, thank you so much for the super chat. Y'all, we have waited so patiently. I am so excited. This is deliciously. Let's go. So... I'm just going to talk and vent my feelings because I'm listening to this fucking live stream of his addressed to me and I'm actually in just in disbelief for the hundredth time. I don't know why I never learned my lesson in this. Like the person he's talking about when he talks about himself, not or this, not or that, not or this, not or that. Who the fuck is that person? Who? Stop giving the BBJ fluff. Thank you for the super chat. Bambi, it's your first live stream, Bambi. And, uh, Live stream, rage stream. Live nicely and never have to work again in life and can spend money on people and who was never. <laughs> this is the part that bothers me the most. And this is my problem with you. And this is 
This is the whole problem. So I want you to listen very fucking clearly, okay? Because you don't get it. And as long as you don't get it, we're always going to have this problem. Always. Number one, I just want you to know that you think you're going to be some king shit on YouTube. You're not going to be anything ever, okay? So Dee Dee, I know you have Dee Dee sitting beside you as your new wingman. She's boring as fuck, okay? She's more boring than an old library book that everyone forgets about. And you smell dusty too, so shut up and don't talk about me. Ma'am, ma'am, wait a minute. Again, oh, look at that pause face. Look at the rage all over. I am so fucking excited right now. So fucking excited. Yes, she's mad. Exactly. Juliet, she is mad because she has been exposed. Exposed again for the fool that she is. And what, what, you, Chantal, why at this point would they keep it, anything at all of yours, like secret? You know, at this point, everything he's doing is for the views. He, When you called Dee Dee or messaged Dee Dee on Monday, I'm sure they high-fived each other. They were like, yes, that gives us something to talk about. You're the one giving him attention. You're the one still talking about him and Dee Dee. Daily, bro, daily. Ah, it's just insane. Oh, she's going off. Wait a minute. I have been watching Queen <laughs> Nader tribute who's showing Koki going up. Listen, this is Crackhead Olympics, y'all. This, this is classic Crackhead Olympics. We have waited so long. Shut your trap. Shut up. Number two, you that person you're talking to online, to people trying to convince, the problem is you're trying to convince people you're a good person. And whenever you verbatim say things like, you know I was good to you and I don't deserve you ruining my life online. Yes, you, this is the part you need to get, okay? Nader El Shami, Nader Ali, whatever the fuck your middle name is, El Shami, ruined his own effing life with his own fucking actions. So here's the thing. Your mentality, which is dumb, you don't seem to grasp, this is your mentality. Chantal talks bad about Nader online. Therefore, Chantal did bad things to Nader. Therefore, Chantal doesn't love Nader. No, this is the reality of it. So listen up. Put your comb over nice and over over your fucking Andy Warhol here so you can explain to Nader because he doesn't get it, okay? Chantal loved Nader a lot. Chantal makes YouTube channel, helps Nader make YouTube channel because she loves Nader. Chantal buys $300 worth of groceries every week because she loves Nader. Chantal does everything because she loves Nader. No, Desperado, put the claw down first of all. Yes, the hand is flapping. The nails are going. The talons are red and in full force right now. You didn't do anything. Oh, that whole list of junk that you just listed was not at all because you love Natter. It's because you liked having sex and you liked having attention. You didn't give a damn who was giving it to you. You were giving him, you gave him rent money within knowing him a few days. Days. You were paying for the party the first night that you two met. It had nothing to do with love. It's desperation. It, it is what it is, okay? You pay for the party. You pay for the groceries. You pay for the rent. You pay for everything for the privilege of a crackhead's attention. Girl, stop confusing your own selfish needs with love because it has fuck all to do with love. KD, thank you so much for the super chat. We are apparently, look at that, eh? Winter's coming again and Canada gets the flame going again for the crackhead Olympics. We are a winter sport country. We should have known this was coming. Chantal doesn't like when Nader hits her. Chantal doesn't like when Nader lies to her for a whole fucking year about sleeping with somebody, several people. And Chantal does not like because you lied about sleeping with those people getting STDs. Chantal does not like being treated like that. So Chantal. Uh, let's all remember though that Chantal might not have liked getting the STDs, but Chantal drove Koki to the uh, pharmacy when it happened. Chantal gave him a hundred dollars cash to go in and buy the medications. And then Chantal did everything she could for the next six months to ride the green peen. So no, you don't get to use that now more than a year later as an argument for what? why you left or why you're unhappy girl shut up you kept doing it you're still doing you called him on monday you tried to get in touch with him on monday we're not even talking past tense you're crazy stop it with these arguments although don't stop it because damn it it feels good to be raging like this again oh my god it's been like a year yes bitch tell keeping up with your theme of talking in the third person like a fucking psychopath does not like 
the horrible shit you do to her. But Chantal loved you anyways. So whenever you say things like, you know I was good to you, where? You didn't buy me a single pomegranate, not one. And so so for you to, to talk about this matter that you are to all these people is fucking ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Number two, I just want to say the falafel thing, like the fact that you guys want to sit there and be like, we have to talk about her. We have to address her. She's talking about me. I was joking. Like I was jokingly talking about, do you think I could buy falafels? You fucking are insane. So no, you didn't have to do this live stream. Everyone knows you're full of shit. Furthermore, let's just say matter. Furthermore, excuse me, English major. Okay. 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 What you call jokes, other people might call harassment. If he really wants nothing to do with you anymore, your little jokes, your little comments, your little everything all day, it's still harassment. If you see him making falafel and you're sitting on your channel like, oh, could I buy some of your falafel? Girl, shut the hell up. How desperate can you be, man? Lisa, thank you for the super chat. What the hell? I just walked in. Girl, it's an old-fashioned rage. We got crack at Olympics going. He's yelling at her on his channel. She's yelling at him on his channel. Damn. Welcome back to the fall. Let's just say, let's just pretend right now, I did nothing. I did nothing but talk about you, feed you fucking grapes online, and be like, oh, by the way, the house was shit. I'm in butt fuck nowhere. In the winter, I'm not driving all this way for fucking not, no way. Anyway, let's say I did nothing but lie like Dee Dee does. And Dee Dee, you have some fucking nerve. We all know why she spends money on men. What do you think you're doing, you idiot? You do nothing but spend all your fucking retirement checks on your new lover. And jealous. Oh my God, the jealousy. It's dripping out of her. You only wish that you could still spend your YouTube coins on the crackhead. Crackhead, even with the offer of all your YouTube coins, still doesn't want anything to do with you. So don't hate on Didi because she's spending her pension to <laughs> make a good time for your crackhead. You're just jealous. Nick444, thank you for the super chat. Get a life. Get a life. Shut your trap. You sound dumber. You sound dumber than fucking matter. All right, anyway. So, so let's say I talk nothing but good about you online the whole year, the whole year. It wouldn't matter. You know why? Because you were still a piece of crap, lying and cheating behind my back, behind my back. And I don't care. You can say, you, you can say all you want anywhere else that we're not in a relationship. Whenever you're mad at me and whenever I fuck up, it doesn't matter. What you're telling me is all that matters. So for me, we were in a relationship. Okay. When you lie to everyone else, it doesn't matter. We all know you're a liar. So, I mean... Okay. Yes. He may be a liar. That has now been established. We get that for a year and a half and I'm not trying to defend him here, but although yes, like I said, he's established. He's a liar, blah, blah, blah. You know who else is an established liar, right? Oh yeah, that's right. It's Chantal. You're the biggest liar I've ever seen on this platform, Chantal. You are a massive liar too. Now, if you keep saying about, I don't care what you're saying. We were in a relationship. At least I thought we were in a relationship for a year. That doesn't mean he was lying. That just means you're delusional. When somebody, and, and the whole thing happens on video, for God's sake, everything was being live streamed. Did you never sit back and watch back one of those live streams to just be like, mm, let me watch my lover and notice the not only complete lack of chemistry between the two of you, the fact that he looked like, kill me now was written all over his face. He didn't even want to be in the same room as you. Girl, stop saying that that was like your relationship for a year. First of all, it was end of April till December at the most, even, and, and that's being kind to you. That doesn't make a year. This thing isn't ended now. It didn't end a week ago, okay? And you still processing and still analyzing and everything you've been through. You've now, he's been living with Dee, Dee longer than he was playing you. At what point does this bullshit end? Eh. But I'm so glad she's raging. I'm I'm throwing all this out. When does it end? When is it? Oh, I'm so thankful for tonight, girl. If you're going to insist on keep talking about him every day, at least do it like this. We want to rage every fucking day or I don't want to hear his name anymore. Emotional support muffin. Thank you for the super chat, girl. No, no, no. We never change the uniforms. The uniforms are head to toe Adidas red track suits. It is what it is. The, it wouldn't matter because guess what you were lying behind the scenes and you fucked up and you trusted jennifer corvina and pretty genius and they fucked you over so regardless of whatever whatever ever i said In about you online, meters, turn left onto the auto route 50 west ramp to get a no center bill i hear you saying i hear you saying 
uh, what? <laughs> I was like, I mean, it's so secondary because she's raging in the car, but I was thinking that, you know, where the fuck is she driving? Why is she going to downtown Gatineau? What have I missed? Have I missed something? I, like I said, I just got home. I've missed all day. Why is she going to downtown Gatineau? What is this? People still give me hate for shit you've said about me. No, no, no. You know what people are giving me hate about now, pal? <laughs> the shit you've done to your online, and that has been proven in video Turn left onto the aisle of 50 West Ramp. So the fact that those videos came out, those videos came out, and regardless of if I what I said about you online, in once those videos meters, came out, onto Auto Route 50 West. People saw what you did. People saw how you are. People saw with their own eyes. So it doesn't matter. So the fact that you're still just blaming me, you have all this like misplaced anger and blame me for ruining your life when I fucking probably loved you more than anybody in the fucking world at that time. You have some fucking nerve. And that was my problem. That was the final straw for me. After being stressed out, you don't even care if you would have just looked over to me driving while you're singing Ali Fuck Bubba in the fucking passenger seat, your stupid fourth pyramid song and smoking and coughing. If you would have just looked over to your left, you would see me stressing the fuck out, trying to find a place to keep to, for you to get away from Dee Dee. Ah, to keep. Did you catch that? And then she corrected herself. She's talking about the incident again from what, the beginning of June with that stupid fucking apartment that she was trying to rent for him in Montreal. Did you catch what she just said? Trying to rent you that place to keep. To keep. To keep you? To keep in contact with you? To keep this false, fake, bullshit ass relationship going? To keep your attention on me? To keep you. That's right. To keep you. We caught that moron. You can keep, like change the sentence at the last second, trying to act like boss bitch, trying to change history. Let's go back. Cause again, I see that she's trying to change the history of what actually happened. Beginning of June. I believe it was the second of June. Okay. She's gone with Koki driving around looking for apartments. They see an apartment. They like the apartment. She wants to rent the apartment. She didn't realize that in Quebec, when you go to sign the lease, you have to give the first month's rent. They thought they had, what, until July 1st to pay that first month's rent. She was already so fucking broke. She didn't have that first month's rent. We all saw the thing play out on live stream. It was because she couldn't afford the rent. She didn't have that fucking rent money for the first month. They ended up in a fight. And after that, it was never the same between the two of them. He realized in that moment, Jesus Christ, she's not even good for the rent money anymore. And he has pretty much dropped her since then. So no, Chantal, don't talk to us about what was your final straw. What was like the last thing for you, how you walked away. You didn't walk away from jack shit. A crackhead who never claimed you wouldn't even hustle you anymore because he realized how fucking broke you were. And that's the reality of what really happened between you and Koki. You will never change that story. It was all on live stream. Seattle Sapphire's low carb world. Hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Cause she was getting on your fucking nerves cause she's fucking boring and annoying. Yeah, well guess what? And then you have the nerve to go live and act like nothing to you. That's always been my problem. I did everything for you. You were everything to me and you treated me like I was nothing to you. Nothing, nothing. And you don't know what that did to me and you don't know, like just the fact that you both fucking liked me for a whole year. You manipulated me, you lied to me, you treated me like shit. And you're going to just deny it and then you're just going to brush it off and say, you know I was good to you. Really? Where? I want one fucking example other than cooking me food that I bought. I want one fucking example. <laughs> Julian, thank you for the We're super not, chat. That's really nice well, of you, girl. Everybody, everybody knows, knows that. that. We're, you're delusional when you say everybody knows it's a lie. No, everyone knows you and DD are liars. I wish you knew how fucking stupid you look. I look stupid, yeah for still saying that I loved you. I look like a fucking idiot. I know I do, but I'm not a liar. I'm not going to fucking lie about my feelings. They're there and I can't do anything about it. And whatever, I guess I'm fucking wrong, wrong. Although the feelings might be there. Don't say I can't do anything about them. Say I refuse to do something about them because had you gone to therapy months ago, like everybody's been telling you to do every fucking day, by now you would have not only gotten over him, you would have like coping mechanisms. Your life would be on a better path. You refuse to get over him because you have fuck all going on in your life and pining over a crackhead who never wanted you is literally your only storyline. The only thing you have, the only thing you think about is a crackhead who never wanted you. Do you even realize how fucking psychotic that is? For God's sake, Chantal, go to therapy.
Like you've tried, even to say you're trying to process it on your own. You're trying to get through this on your own, blah, 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 blah. Okay. It's been since Christmas time now, girl, it's September. We're coming up on Christmas again, for fuck's sake. You've had longer without him than you had with him. This shit should be long processed, okay? Pathetic. And I'll be called pathetic for the rest of my life, whatever. But you know what? I'll just deal with who I am because that's the fucking truth. And you know what? The truth is still better than a lie, even if it's an ugly truth. You need to fucking learn that, pal. Ashley Maserati Bugatti, thank you for the super chat, girl. Right. You really don't think that people cannot see with their own two eyes that you are, are aggressive in your own way, like your, your own self? You reveal who you are, your own self. In my live streams, when we would live stream together, people would constantly tell me, he's an asshole, he's an asshole, he's aggressive, he's an asshole. Hello? <laughs> like, this is not just me talking here. I cannot control how you put yourself out on the internet and how people react to your behavior. Okay, yeah, I had a moment of weakness. I had a moment of weakness. You guys know I did. I admitted it when I said I still loved him. Yeah, I did. And I like panicked and I really wanted to talk to him and I wanted like some kind of closure, like some kind of fucking explanation, man. Like, why would you, like, why? What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't get closure. You're 38 years old. Grown ass people realize you don't get closure in life. Nine out of 10 situations you're going to get in your life, in your 30s and beyond, you don't get any fucking closure. It's part of being grown. You, nobody owes you any fucking closure, okay? He's living with another woman. There's your fucking closure. He has moved on. And by moved on, I mean he was never fuck all to you. You should have, I don't know, worked on your channel harder, kept the money up, made yourself more useful to him. And then you would be living with him in an apartment in Montreal. You, in a way, you fucked that up. You fucked that up. Because deep down, Chantal, despite everything that you say all the time, you knew damn right that he only ever used you and needed you for money. You fucking, you knew that deep in your subconscious, even though you didn't want to admit it. If you had worked harder on your fucking money, kept your money up, you'd still be useful to the crackhead. You would now be shacked up, getting drunk, getting fucking probably, anyway, I don't even want to say, but living with that prize that is the crackhead, okay? You fucked up the game. West Coast Coral, thank you for the super chat. But you know what? My mistake is I have to stop expecting normal, rational answers from you because you just don't even care. You don't care about me. You said that you cared about me at one point. No, you never did. Because if you did, and you said you loved me, you said you loved me. Whenever I asked you, do you love me? Oh, yes, I love you a lot. Yeah, right. Okay. So whenever you love somebody, you say, whenever you, you accuse me, whenever you love somebody, you don't talk about them online. You don't hurt them. But when you love somebody, you don't fucking smack them. You don't fucking cheat on them for a whole year and give them STDs and make them, and make, and make them think that you love them and mislead them. Like, you honestly... I know, I know, you know, like you're going to have to live with your fucking self. So you know what? <laughs> Whatever. Cloud Goblin's willing minion. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, yes, you can. For real? Like, like <laughs> this is the shit that I can't stand. And this is why you deserve me talking about you because you do the shit I talk about. I don't, you, you in your brain say Chantal is just coming online because she's mad at me. So this is why she's talking about me. No. Wait, 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 pause. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm behind on the chat as, as I often am. Sorry. Malarkey meter. Thank you for the tea. Hi, all. She was looking for rentals, FFG. Tell me she was looking for rentals in Gatineau. Was she looking for rentals in Gatineau? Because I will make fun of her every, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna comment on that <laughs> every single day on this channel. The way this bitch talked down about Gatineau, talked down about Quebec, talked so far down every day about that place. Look how the mighty have fallen. We're now aspiring to, oh, please, can I find a place in Gatineau? Didn't she call it Ghetto Gatineau? Wasn't that Chantal's thing? Now you aspire to live in Ghetto Gatineau? I fucking love that for all of us. Mm, 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 mm. And you can say, oh, how can somebody love me and talk about me like that? Yeah, I just don't like what you do. I don't like your actions. That was it. That was my problem. So my intention was never to come on here and ruin your fucking life. Actually, my intention was to make a couples channel with you and have a good life. Oh, travel Canada. Christ I sake. know you couldn't travel the fucking world. So travel Canada. And have a good fucking travel cup. And I even was like, he had he he cried to me. He had to spend his eighty thousand on a fucking lawyer, so he what he can't open his restaurant anymore. 
and I really even, even was cared enough about you to care about your dream. I was even going to open a restaurant for you or help. Oh my God. Are you fucking kidding? Money bags over here. She's just opening restaurants. First of all, no, you wouldn't have. Chantal, come. you're making payments on a 2016 Kia Rio. In what stretch of whose imagination were you opening anybody a fucking restaurant? Second of all, do you really think you should have anything to do with the restaurant industry? Realistic. I'm not going to go further because she's going to call that hateful and being a bully. Fill in the gaps. Y'all know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. The last place this one should have anything at all to do with is anything involving food, the restaurant industry, anything like that. Girl, girl. Don't ever talk about anything until you made the last fucking payment on that piece of shit hoopty, okay? This is insane. She has lost her fucking mind now. A food truck, maybe. She knows a lot about those. Well, I don't know how food trucks work in Ottawa, but in order, in Montreal, in order to even enter the lottery thing, because there's like limited food trucks in the city and they pick them on a lottery system, you have to have a brick and mortar location. If you don't have an actual restaurant, you can't even qualify to get uh, a food truck in Montreal. So I really don't know how that works in Ottawa. Were they going to open it in Ottawa? Were they going to open it in Montreal? But yeah. she's insane. Why are we even debating this? She's going to open the crack at a restaurant. Get the hell out of here. Gucci Gamer Girl, thank you for the super chat. Help you. Like, that was my dream. Not my intention. My intention wasn't to come on here and fucking ruin everything. No, 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 no. You ruined everything. These are beauty. The rules for evictions are different depending on the province. And then you started acting sideways and you started treating me like shit. And I know you're private. Yeah, I'm sorry for fucking talking about you in the, at all. But I'm sorry. I'm not sorry for fucking outing what you did to me because I had to go through that shit by myself. You know what I mean? So fuck that shit. And I'm not sorry for that. And I'll never be sorry for that. And that's your problem. You want me to fix. You want me to clean your reputation. What do you want? Okay, so let's just say that happened. Now, or what, what about the videos? What do you want me to do about that? That's not like, I don't under fucking understand what you're demanding. Like, you're so insane. You, you, this, you have to realize you're blaming. This is a prime example. You're blaming me. You're blaming everyone else for you, your soiled reputation. Like, does that sound familiar to anyone else? Do we know anybody else who blames every other person for every problem in their life, their ruined reputation, their shitty existence? Oh, wait, that's right. It's you, Chantal. You're now accusing him of exactly what you are doing and what you've been doing on this channel for years. Stop projecting your shit onto him, okay? It's beyond the point of him wanting you to repair his uh, image and his reputation. You can't do shit because your reputation is fucking poop also, okay? No one is listening to you. You can't repair your own fucking reputation. In what stretch of an imagination are you in a place to be repairing anybody else's? Girl, he just wants you to shut the fuck up about him. It's not that deep. Rachel, hey, hey girl, thank you for the super chat and thank you for being here. I went through the block list the other day because two people got blocked by mistake in our last stream and I noticed a bunch of other people who had been blocked by mistake. Girl, you are one of them. I'm so sorry. I don't even know what the hell happened. No, you you soiled yourself. You shit your own hands. Like, I don't know what to tell you. It's fucking crazy. Oh, my God. Was that supposed uh, to be a metaphor for something? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did this one, this one just accuse someone else of shitting their own pants? Was that a metaphor? Is that a, like, a trailer park boys level metaphor? Because, ma'am, if you're not talking metaphorically and you're actually being straight, you're the one who soiled their own fucking pants. So, again, stop fucking putting it on Koki home and roll the fattest fucking joint i can freaking muster up myself i know dd i don't have to pay for men actually you're fine one to fucking talk bitch you had to literally insert yourself into a fucking relationship you had to literally do that because nobody wants you because you're boring you're sitting at home alone in your boring condo with your cheap ass fucking wine meanwhile sitting alone in her condo or sleeping next to your crackhead in her condo for almost a year now. Oh, bloop. <laughs> the jealousy, ma'am. Yeah, you do have to pay. You've been paying for gigolos. You've been paying for hotel rooms and jigs by the hour, ma'am. <sighs> oh. <laughs> now listen, between all of us, we all understand Dee Dee's paying a certain price also. But the point is, 
Dee Dee got her crackhead prize. Crackhead spends every night on the purple mattress. Crackhead publicly claimed her. Jealous. Uncut Jams, Nancy P. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Oil. Ooh, yeah, not rude. Let's call and let's see if I can insert myself. In three kilometers, use the right two lanes to take exit 135 so for toward Ottawa. If I had no self-respect, you know, you know if I went ahead and accepted those apartments. You know, you know. And he said himself, I let those apartments go because he knows. We had those, we had two apartments to choose from, accepted. And you know that if I didn't, had, if I had no self-respect and I didn't grow a pair and I didn't have people telling me, don't do it, don't do it. And if I didn't come to my senses right at the last minute, God, I don't even know what the fucking miracle we would be in an apartment and you would be just back to your lonely old fucking sad self. So shut the fuck up, have a seat, and don't break the chair. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> no, Chantal. No, 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 no. First of all, again, that is not why y'all didn't rent the apartment. You didn't rent the apartment because you couldn't pay the first month's rent. Everybody saw that play out on the live stream. And no, Dee Dee probably wouldn't be sitting there lonely. She didn't break up your fucking uh relationship you know the, if she had if Chantal had rented that apartment you know who in my opinion would now be sitting at home lonely Chantal herself because Koki didn't want to live with her Koki just wanted his own place away from Didi that would have been his place we all understand that this dipshit he would have made her life a living hell and she would have been running back to the villa shacking up with Pete well shacking up not in a sexual way but you know like staying over at Pete's Thing anywhere besides Koki's apartment that the only thing that would have belonged to her in it was the lease would have been in her dumbass name. So she would have been on the hook for the rent and he would have been living his best life, getting the green drippy D again, whatever. We all understand exactly how that shit would have played out. Rad Plaid, thank you for the super chat. Fucking missed out fire. Ugh. Anyways, I'm raging. Hi. Sorry, guys. So anyways... That's the reality of the situation. Your reality is bullshit and lies. And everybody knows it. So whatever. <laughs> oh my. So anyways, this house that I went to look at is really interesting. Where am I? Am I on the 15th? I think so. Hey, flirty. No, Hershey. Thanks for being here, girl. Nice to see you. Thank you for the super chat. Five for auto route. Five done toward Ottawa. Yeah, I know where we are now. This place is like so far into. Um, I was looking for something. I mean, like, I want something tranquil, calm, country. So I'm kind of driving up to the country to just look for stuff. Oh, shit. I missed my exit. Um. But I'm not going to take that. That's really far out. No. Okay, I, that's all I wanted to say, I guess. I don't, I, I'm going to go live again when I get home. I'm just like... Honestly, for like months. A couple months. I don't know. Like, I don't know. How, like, do I feel like I was ever fully, fully over it? Probably not, I guess. Like, my, fe my own feelings, like, honestly surprise me at this point. Um... Ma'am, ma'am, <laughs> when did you ever even give yourself a chance to get over it? You, we now know for a fact you called him on Monday or tried to anyway. You called him July 2nd. We saw he released all those DMs. You remember? <laughs> uh, you were taking around looking for apartments at the beginning of June. You were actively eating the Arby's at the end of what? April? When exactly was the time that you tried even to get over him? All you've still been doing is trying to get under him and he doesn't want to starfish anymore. <laughs> Girl, you've done everything to throw yourself at this man for over a year now. He doesn't want it anymore. Okay. He doesn't care for fuck's sake, but... <laughs> Stop embarrassing yourself, but don't stop embarrassing yourself. We haven't had a rage this good in a while. This is so stupid. <sighs> he was screaming in her ear. Damn it. <laughs> Brittany Morrow, thank you for the super chat. Heard and researched about the stuff. 
fucking insane. You know, they just caught the second guy. The first guy, anyway, they, they found him. And the second guy was just caught a couple hours ago. Comes and goes. So anyways. Six hundred meters. Take exit one thirty four E toward Boulevard Day on the Matinee. Dini's so gone. I can see. I can see that she's melancholy, and, and she seems to be sad. Yeah, you dummy. Why do you fucking think so? Oh my god, they're done. <laughs> oh my god. I hate. I, I fucking. Five hundred meters and the roundabout. Take the fourth exit on Boulevard Day on the Matinee. Quebec one. Christy, thank you for the super chat. Oh Hell yeah, she will. You, I cannot tell you enough how much I hate you. Okay, I hate you, and you're dumb. You look stupid dumb. All right. I'm getting out of here. I'm need to get home, and I'm gonna go live when I get home. Oh boy. Okay, hold on. Let me just close this tab. Wait. Stop. Shh. Stop. No, wrong button. Damn it. Go away. <laughs> okay. 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 Breathe. 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 Let me just load up her channel because she's coming back live when she gets home and. We're here. <laughs> we happen to be here. You know we're going to dig back into that shit. Holy wow. Okay. Well, she's extra, extra mad. Oh, hey, Shannon, you're here. How are you, girl? Nice to see you. Oof. I need a breather after that one. We haven't done a crack at Olympics in so, so long. I'm a little rusty. Oh, I haven't yelled like that in a long time. It felt really good. And if I lose my voice again over it, fuck, it was worth it. Damn, y'all. That was deliciously. Okay, CM Cakes, recap, please. Here's your recap. Here's your recap. Uh, on Monday, apparently, when Chantal was having that fake relationship for four hours, uh, and then it ended, she also, after that fake relationship ended, she was messaging Dee Dee, trying to get in touch with Koki because she no longer has Koki's phone number. Dee Dee and Koki came live and they outed that. She went into a blind rage, came live, and it was crackhead Olympics all over again, swearing about Dee Dee, swearing about Koki, talking about all the things she's been through again, uh, admitting that she's still in love with him and not over it and Blah, 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 blah. Oh my God. It's delicious. So that was a quickie. She's now driven. She's driving on the way home. She went to see, she was now seeing an apartment in, uh, what do you call it? Gatineau. <laughs> That's right. Moving on down. Apparently she's moving to ghetto Gatineau now, even though she made fun of it for over a year. Um, She's driving home and she says that she's going to come live as soon as she comes home. So we're just going to sit here for a few minutes because we were also way behind on her stream. Uh, let's see when she comes back. I'm hoping the rage goes on because like she was very mad now is she just ended it. I don't think she's done with everything we know about Chantal. Do you guys think she's done? Here's my prediction for how this plays out. She gets home. She might take an edible or, you know, but there's still that time until the edible kicks in. She's going to be so pissed off until she gets like comatose high from the edible. Mm, we might get a round two of this uh, rage. Plus, Koki's live, still fucking talking about her and stuff. She might have now ended the stream to actually dip back into his. You know how she loves to watch him, right? Maybe she went to dip back into his stream. She's going to see that him and Dee, Dee are still talking about her. Flip the fuck out again and come live again. I have a feeling the rage is not done for tonight. Ooh. Stop giving BBJ fluff. Thank you again for a super chat. Yeah, last night she was talking about maybe moving to Gatineau. Uh, that like second time this week. And hey, couch, I know you're what. Oh, God. Um. I think it's funny if they move to Gatineau just because how much, how much she shit on Gatineau this year. <laughs> she just posted an upcoming. Okay, fantastic. So if we wait a few minutes and then we dip in again. Love that. Oh, okay. Uh, Stephen R. Pondu. Hey, boo. Thank you for a super chat. Crackhead Olympics joggers spring, summer. Oh, my God. Well, spring, summer, or September, Koki's the one that she'll always remember. Holy shit. What perfect timing, though. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Shannon, you're starting a new job tomorrow? That's fantastic, girl. Congratulations and good luck. 
That's great. Flirty No Hershey, thank you again for the super chat. I've missed so much. Please help catch me up. Well, that's pretty much all the catch up we've got for today, girl. We're still waiting. This, this is what we know so far. Hey, baby Nia. Good to see you, boo. Um, Grandma said best birthday present ever. Best birthday Eve ever. Ah, crackhead Olympics. Girl, happy birthday, Eve. I'm so glad that Chantal gave you this gift on your birthday. And if this lunatic uh, is going to keep on raging, girl, you might usher in your birthday in the midst of a crackhead Olympics. And I love that for all of us. I'm having so much fun. Oh, it just feels so good to be. I don't know, raging again. Shit. <laughs> We've had nothing for so long that, I don't know, this just, this is nostalgic to me. Doesn't this remind you guys of last winter? Fuck, it's like old times and I'm loving it. FFG, like CNN, this is what we know so far. <laughs> Dark Tintu, thank you for the super chat. Anagram, Chantal's reputation, a theatrical snot pun. <laughs> that is fucking perfect. That's right. She has no credit. Now, you can rent a lot of places. I'm saying it's easy to rent a place in Quebec when you have no credit, but you still need that fucking first month's rent. You're never getting a place if you don't have the first month's rent. It's like, oh, you don't have the money? Okay, where? well, call me when you have it, and then we'll sign the lease. They don't fuck around with that shit. She posted it at 8.05 live. Uh-oh, 8.05. Who's time? Because my time right now, it's 8.08. Let me hit refresh on her thing. Hold on. Uh, refreshing the thing. Okay, she's not live yet, but we're on it. Tab is on. I will press refresh until the end of time if we need to. Uncle Jams, Nancy P, thank you for a super chat, girl. What Golden Girls closet did she raid? <laughs> and she makes fun of uh, Dee Dee's outfits, eh? God, they're going to bump into each other one day at the fucking uh, Pennington's. Lord Baroque, thank you for the super chat. Happy birthday, Grandma Spud, tomorrow. Yes. Grandma Spud, happy birthday. I hope you have a great birthday, girl. I hope we get a raid stream for your birthday, girl. Mm, 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 mm. This is so much fun. Bambi, Bambi, this is like the heyday. Uh, now, it's been months. We haven't had a rage like this in months. We used to get these like two, three times a day. <laughs> oh, God, Gina, FFG. Ned says his credit score is 920. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Flop era. Thank you for the super chat. Meanwhile, Koki has been raging about her for two hours. I love that. I oh, mm, <laughs> Keep going, Koki. It makes her keep going. And that's what we care about. <laughs> oh. Lazy, hey, girl, thank you for the super chat. Cough drop and a cup of hot tea will help throat. Oh, my God. That's what Wendy Williams always did, eh? Before she started the, the show, she would put the cough drop in the tea. All right, I can do a Wendy Williams. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I will try. It's worth a try. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. How far away from home is she time-wise? Minutes. Minutes. She was on that last exit from uh, Gatineau when you get back to Ottawa. Minutes. Uh, Anyway, she's home already. We know she's home already because she had already uh, scheduled the, the live stream. Mm. How come I don't see the scheduled live stream? Hold on, hold on. Let me let me do a little NASA searching right now. What do you mean? Oh, there you go. It's called Not the Victim Card. And yeah, it was supposed to start five minutes ago. We wait. Oh, oh. Love that for us. I'm so fucking excited. Oh, hi. Thanks for being here. I'm so glad I'm live right now, too. I got home at the right moment. I'm telling you, I was so late. If I had been like an hour later, we would have missed all of that. Kismet, y'all. It's kismet. We're always here and live at the best moments, eh? Think about the last year and all the greatest moments that went down in Shantopolis. We were here and we were live streaming. And it all started the night of the magic show. At the time of the magic show, I remember also, I was still in school and it was like crunch time at the, at school. Uh, I was only live streaming one day a week. And by chance, we were here, we were live, we had just started the live stream and boom, the magic show happened. Oh, 
Good times, gang. Good times. <laughs> this is like girl gang Christmas. And I mean, girl gang Christmas was fucking awesome too. <gasps> um, Mango, yeah, I'm going back on Monday. I'm actually really excited to go back. I'm going to be totally honest. KD, thank you for the super chat. Intermission, how is work? Your fam, Frenchie, work Monday. <laughs> I go back on Monday. Uh, I get, I'm so fucking excited to go back. Fam is fine. Everybody's good. Life is good. I got nothing to say except I'm still missing my boy every single day. Thinking of him constantly. Tomorrow will be one month. I am without my child, my little, my son. Um, I can't believe it's already been a month. My God, this month has like flown by. I still think of him every five minutes all day long from the moment I open my eyes in the morning until I go to bed. But beyond that, it's okay. Maggie is okay. She's getting like better, I would say, you know, but um, I don't know. She's still, uh, she's sad without him. You know, it's not the same when they've been together all those years. It's hard for her. You know, I can't believe it's been a month either. Dear, I'm, whew, it feels like it's six days ago or something. Hmm. According to Pete, she just came in. Okay, great. Tamara, thank you for the super chat, girl. Get yourself one of those holy bagels you love so much. <laughs> Guess what I had today? A holy bagel with my brother. <laughs> I have a problem. I have a bagel addiction. I love bagels. I I love a bagel. I'll eat a bagel even if I have to make the bagel. But bagels always taste better. Like bagels and lox and cream cheese and all that. Taste so much better when someone else makes it for you. Oh. Did I just get a, wait, I just got a notification. I don't know what it is. Don't get excited yet. Okay. See, that's why we didn't get excited. It was not that. <laughs> oh, Adele did just say and love the Holy Bagel when she came to Canada. Um, just say and love the Holy Bagel so much that we ended up having bagels every morning. She was here for breakfast and a bagel right before she went to the airport. Like when, when I was taking her back to the airport, she loved the friggin' bagels so much. Oh my God. I think she took some bagels home with her too. Oh, lox is a, a L O X. It's a smoked salmon that you eat on the bagel. And it's just, Mm, 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 mm. Okay, let me hit refresh. I'm so excited. Come on, Chantal. We're all waiting for you, bro. Don't leave the people waiting. <laughs> Flop era in their chat goes, go off. Also, hi, FFG. I don't know what you're talking about. Who's FFG? <laughs> Mind your business. Damn. <laughs> Mama C, thank you for the super chat. Hi, FFG. Little Rosie and I sent you a little gift. And no, it doesn't have anything to do with... Colorado winning the Stanley Cup, LOL. Listen, I don't mind Colorado winning the Stanley Cup. It's like I said, technically to me, Colorado will always be the Quebec Nordiques. So all you've told me is that the Quebec Nordiques won the Stanley Cup and I am more than fine with that. <laughs> Cooking with Koki today. <laughs> Gross. Food poisoning with the freaking crackhead. Uh, too many sodiums. Like, I would agree with you. I don't, I'm not a salmon person. I would agree with you in every situation except for an all-dressed bagel. There is something about the cream cheese and the salmon. Ooh, ooh, it's just perfect. It's divine. Listen, at least Colorado has snow. I've said this before. I don't care who doesn't like it. It pisses me off when like non-snow places win the Stanley Cup. You have no business even competing in a Stanley Cup. It's not fair. Oh, yeah, Bambi. People always try to get uh, <laughs> get her raging at me if I'm live. Get her raging at anybody who's live pretty much. Everybody loves a rage stream. It's everybody's favorite thing. So er a lot of people are, yeah, shit disturbers. And we love a shit disturber on this channel. Just get her going. Yes, G, it is Tampa Bay slander. No, wait. Whoa, Andy A. Whoa, don't be crazy. So you like the Boston Bruins? No, no. It's not every snow place I like. I can't stand Boston Bruins. And Toronto, Maple Leafs, <laughs> losers since 67. I mean, I don't have to say anything else. Those two teams specifically can suck it. But are the rest of the snow teams, yes, bitch. <laughs> Moo Moo laughs in Detroit. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Oh my God. 
Rachel, hey, thank you again for a super chat. Detroit Red Wings for life. Let's go Red Wings. I don't know. I see the words, but all I see is go Habs go. Okay. Okay. I've decided this year I'm getting heavily, heavily, heavily into the hockey. I didn't follow too much last year because it was fucking heartbreaking after the season we had before where we actually almost won the Stanley Cup. I needed to take last year off. I knew it was going to be some bullshit. This year, this year, I'm going hard on the hockey. If any of you little troll ass motherfuckers want to come in here and start with me about my team and stuff, I will block you on site. We're not playing the games we played last winter. Fuck you guys. No. <laughs> you come in here talking about Boston and Toronto. You are blocked on site. I don't care. And I'm never unblocking. Oh, Andrea, excuse me. Unpopular opinion. Hockey is boring AF. Is there a sport you watch? And if you tell me like soccer or football, I'm going to piss on it because those are so slow and so boring. Hockey is so fast. Oh, it's just, oh, they're all over the place. The rink is small. It's like, oh, girl, please. Girl, come on. Come on. You can shit on hockey in a lot of ways, but boring? Boring compared to what? Golf? Like, come on. Ringette. Ringette would be my number two. Very close to hockey. I can I can get behind ringette. No problem. Ribbon dancing. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay, fair. Andrea says, I hate all sports equally. Fair. That's fair. All right. At least you're an equal opportunity offender. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> opinion on the Washington Capitals? No, I got no opinion. Fuck Washington altogether. How's that? I have no opinion on anything besides Montreal, okay? Okay, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, Marlou, no, I've never heard of Aileen Desine. I've never heard of her before. I didn't watch the video. Dark Tintu, thank you for the super chat. See New York Rangers versus Toronto at uh, Madison Square Garden next year. Ooh, that sounds fun. I really hope New York wins because Tuck Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry. Eerie T. Girl. Yes. We've already done one reaction. You might want to go back to the beginning, but speed it up because you got to catch up in real time because we are presently waiting for her to come back on live. Uh, she has one scheduled, but she's running late. Girl, we are in the middle of a rage stream here. We've done half a rage and we're waiting for the next half. It's a good night. Frenchie, try to explain American football as a Canadian. Um... <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know how many people play football. Like, let's take a guess here. Maybe 11. Okay. Here's football. According to a Canadian who knows fuck all about football. So there's 11 people on either side. Uh, they flip a coin. They decide who gets the ball first. I think ball. Yeah. Okay. Then you have four downs. I know about four downs and you're trying to get a touchdown in your four downs. And if you can't, go a certain amount of yards or some shit. It doesn't go back to first down. You get four goes at it anyway. And then if you don't get a fucking touchdown in the four goes, you got to kick the ball to the other side and then they get their fucking four goes. But here's the actual T with football. It only ever happens for like 10 seconds at a time. You know what I mean? You're sitting there, you're watching. It's like a 10 second action and then a five minute reset before you get another 10 seconds of action. It's the most slow paced, infuriating bullshit sport I've ever seen besides baseball. Listen, garbage. All right. That's what I know about football. I don't fuck with football at all. Rad Plaid, thank you for the super chat, FFG. You make me want to stop sleeping with a bunch of guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Charbuta. What what? Crap noir FFG. It's called edging. Stop kink shaming. Is that <laughs> FFG, we go in a fist fight. I mean we oh, chicken pickle. I would fist fight you any day, girl. Let's go. Let's go. Hockey fights. <laughs> you drop the gloves. Let's go. Andy R, thank you for the super chat. Is it dark tint? Oh, I don't know. I swear to God, if, if it's dark tint, I've been saying it wrong for a year because I'm a moron too. <laughs> I swear to God, dark tint. Well, that doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? 
Dark Tintu. I'm going to call you Dark Tintu forever anyway, because I've just decided she's on. Oh my God, that's a notification. Everybody fucking get to your places. Go and get your drinks. I'm getting the tab. We're doing this. I hate eyeliner. I'm never wearing eyeliner again in my life. <laughs> I hate eyeliner. Because it does that. Shit to your fucking face. Okay, hi. You have some cheese puffs? Like cheesies? <sighs> Who are we going to imitate tonight? Hi! Pooty booby. Aunt Janet's free pomegranates. Karen, come on, do Queen of Kittens. No, I didn't call Natter. Why would I do that, Favera? <laughs> Victim arc. No. Hi, Brooke. Oh my god, this is like the stickiest fucking shit ever. Can't even smoke it. Yes, I texted Didi. One day when I was having a moment of, you know what? Crimson Tangerines, thank you so much for the super chat. No, I haven't been contacting Natter a lot. I only texted that one time. I know. Yeah. Why? I don't know. And don't text a douche and do shit anymore. I can't believe he still puts, he still. <coughs> I cannot believe he still sits there and says, I am the victim. I did nothing. I can't believe he does that. KBS, thank you for the super chat, girl. Chantel's dignity. Buy yourself a nice pomegranate. Oh, thanks, Brandy. That's nice of you. Hi. Right. You stoner. <laughs> Yes, I did message her. We all have weak moments when you want to have the old feelings, but he is a big liar. He's never going to change. Just accept it and move past. He's nothing but destruction. That chip truck food has got a number on my gut. Me too. Hi, Joey. Ice Cube Canadian Beach. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. I know. I know. Me too. No more junk, I guess. Hi, Rhonda. They do this because they want you to react. It keeps views coming to them. I don't even know what I wanted to say to him, Flop Era. I think I was going to ask if I can. <laughs> if you can what? Buy some flowers. Oh my God. Duh. He beats women, sis. Please stop contacting. <sighs> yeah. No, 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 no. She's making that face. Girl, we're here for a rage, not a cry. Hi, Lolo. I know. Was this during or before your 24 hour relationship? Hi, Sofa. Oh, this is frustrating. I'm so disappointed. Makes her happier. Do you see what she looks like today? She's looking more and more like fucking... 
Andy Warhol. It's gonna go. Ooh, I official hate Esme. Okay, I turned me down, but she's on max on my computer. So now I've turned me down. Maybe you guys can turn up I your volume a bit. Here. And tell me I can turn myself down more if I need to. I don't know. I get mad because I think they actually think that I like in my head was moving like to be with him. <clears throat> that's not the first, that's like the furthest thing from the truth. Like, like I'm moving anyway, but hey, Monica, DD does suck. That green peen must have a joke. <laughs> never sent him money in forever she never said that <sighs> yeah i didn't think that i would ever have a moment of weakness ever again in my life after everything you just had she one last month every month you have a moment of like weakness and that's only what you we find out about god only knows and have talked Cause that's what it feels like to me. Like he, tr he's trying so hard to get me to fix his reputation online and he will not forgive me in life ever unless that happens. And that's not going to happen. Like why? Like what the fuck you? Because I did nothing to you either. I did nothing to you. I did nothing to you. You didn't threaten my family. You threatened my life. <laughs> no. Oh my god. It sounds so stupid. He threatened your life. He threatened your ex bestie Shannon. He threatened your roommate and bestie Pete's. He's threatened half of the creators in this community. He's threatened Dee Dee. Oh, I made his life more difficult. Like, he really thinks I ruined his life. He thinks he's the only person in the world. Therefore, he is the only one that can get hurt. And do you see how dumb she looks sitting there? He cuts her off every five seconds. Like, she'll be going... Mm hmm Yeah, that's right, Natter. Mm, actually, that's what I like about you, Natter. Mm-hmm. Yes, Natter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Natter. Mm. Fuck off. Jealous. Shut She's up, so jealous. Dude. She misses when it was her being the one who used to sit there simping for him, <laughs> agreeing with everything he said, <laughs> laughing at all his horrible jokes. She's bitter and butt hurt that she's not the one anymore. <laughs> that will cost you $300. Don't act all smug, dumb bitch, because you know what? Again, he's only there because he has nowhere else to go. Go live in yeah, one of your fucking true. five apartments in Egypt. Fuck. I swear to God, I hate people. I hate people like him, but why did I love him then? He's like everything I hate in life. <laughs> oh Rad Clad, yes, God. we did, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Yes, Brittany, he's just... claiming to be fucking what was I gonna say my edible just hit sorry guys I just need to chill out I feel like I'm losing my mind no ma'am don't please don't chill don't chill rage would you want to make falafels for someone who ruined your life you're delusional you're delusional he blames the one person <coughs> who actually <coughs> cared about him and did something for him. Like, he's insane. The only thing I'm guilty of is not letting him get away with what he, how he fucking treated me. Hi, Aisha.
Look at the super chat before she deletes it. You think this toxic crap is cute? Grow up. You're 40. He says something like, if you hate me and you do it in the right way, I love you. What? I'm insane for being nice to him. I am. But. Patricia, there's 699 according to my computer. Hi, Golden Girl. 701. Dee Dee's sitting up there smug, acting like she don't got to pay for fucking men. Are you kidding? You have to step in the middle of relationships and offer your fucking condo in Lachine to get a man. So how about you suck balls? You probably are doing a lot of that already. <laughs> no bees are beauty because he won't have her. I love that for her and us. I, you. I never even watched those. <laughs> Maybe I should. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, I look. Yeah, we called the cops on her. Oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. Please, but someone go like into her chat and tell her that Dee Dee looks like she lost some weight. <laughs> I know. What a shocker. Did you call him an animal abuser? <laughs> oh my god. I hate all of y'all. I'm kidding. I love you guys. Don't be harsh on yourself. You're allowed to vent and your anger is stepped towards a, a difficult one. Yeah. It's so funny. It's worth a watch. I'm not watching it now. I'm not saying I want him to fall and break both. Who cares if she lost weight? She still looks like she's fucking, oh, what? Now she looks like a thin Andy Warhol. Big deal. <laughs> Somebody did it. Who did Losing it? Weight is not going to change you looking like fucking mess doubtfire. Okay? Who cares? And it's all the eggs you're shitting every day. Chicken pickle, you fucking legend. Wait, it was like chicken that. pickle. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love you, chicken pickle. Holy shit. Skinny she is. <laughs> he threw a cat against the wall in one of his lives. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck all y'all. Because his food sucks and she doesn't want to eat it. She, no, it's because she's fucking on a wino diet. Do you not see how Natter is low quality? Yes. Hi, Mimi. I have the nerve of her messaging me. Uh, yeah, you know why I have nerve? Because I don't give a fuck what you think. I'll do whatever I want to. I will do whatever I want to. Chicken pickle, we whatever love you, girl. Oh my God, that was great. To. Steal yeah. him back from you? It would happen tomorrow. Guaranteed. Girl, girl, you did Guaranteed. something. Look, she's getting mad again. Oh my God, it worked. Chicken pickle, you did it. She's crazy. Like, lonely, sad, delusional, old, unemployed woman, aren't you? Says a lonely, sad, delusional, unemployed woman. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, and oh my god. See, here's the thing. You people think that I'm like jealous of Dee Dee. Seriously, no offense, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. The only problem I have is this fucking asshole, still arrogant, fucking liar. Like, are you serious? The only thing she has nothing going for her, like. Pretty when oh. you're drunk. Thank you so much for the super out. chat, girl. Hold on. We may have spoken prematurely about chicken pickle. Excuse you. You will not sit in that fucking chair. Chicken pickle. I think our friendship is already over. How dare you slander my beautiful chair? She's 
She's desperate to make what? Damn it, chicken Ooh. pickle! I need you to change your mind on this chair, bro. <laughs> I need it. I need to steal it. I don't know. Oh my god, sweetness putting chickens and pickles in the chat. <laughs> That's oh funny. Is it? <laughs> These are beauty. I will take your wrench away and block your ass. I swear to God. Everybody needs to get behind this fucking chair. Yeah. She didn't answer me. I feel like fucking stealing him back just to spite her and then dumping his ass. Girl, you can't steal. First of all, stealing back implies you ever had him to begin with and you didn't. So you wouldn't be stealing know, back. You'd be stealing. Second of all, you don't have the fucking capability of stealing him. Girl, girl, you were paying for his company and he still didn't want you. You can't steal shit. Stop. Phoenix Flying, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. You have missed so much. No new characters, but it's been a hell of a night. Highly recommend. Go back to the beginning. It was a rage stream and a half. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Look at the like super chat. D uh, Didi can get on top and ride Nader and you can't. Oh my God. Everyone's really trying. I love it when the community comes together and everybody works together trying to piss her off. I love it. Dude, you and Nader watch me every day. That's all you do. You're fucking obsessed. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> for giving me that visual please uh he's told me she's boring she must be boring in bed just so did met know you were trying i know that the starfish didn't call someone else boring in bed is re really 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 sure Wait, how we're gonna go there still going out? starfish is calling people boring in bed now okay that's a choice I need to move to another planet. I'm going to Russia. Oh my god, Radplad's in there now. Holy shit, look at all of you guys. No, Radplad says, question, so did that? Net know you were trying to text your ex during y'all's Disney-worthy relationship, Radplad? What did you know she was born? Yeah. Ugh, no, don't talk about it, please. What question did you want to ask about falafels? I know you guys think it's like, look... I know you guys, honestly, a part of you has to believe I really miss the food and I really wanted to buy food like from him. <laughs> There's some things I really miss. I, I'm i like in disbelief that he's even, why is he even mad at me? Like he's because he's a narcissist. Like if you dissect this, why, why? Why? Why is he mad at me? Like, what the fuck did I do? Ever. You haven't Ever. shut the fuck up about him for a year and a half. What? I don't know. Oxygen peroxide in her chat. This starfish is calling people yeah. boring. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I am living. I'm sitting here sipping on my Coke Zero with a fucking witch's like <laughs> evil look on my face. <laughs> so now you're calling him to buy food? Yes. I really do. I really did want some. That was. I guess that wasn't the only reason, obviously. But I came to my senses again. I think. And Janet's free pomegranates. But thanks for the. Beezing you beezer, please make Sophie's lasagna live. Ready, set, rebees, and Janet, thank you. Oh, Jessica, Bambi is here. Bambi's getting their first experience with the rage stream, the real crack at Olympics. <gasps> Yay. Yay for all of us. I'm deranged. You're blocking it, Janet. Uh. <clears throat> Big mad because the copyright claims are getting dismissed. <laughs> yeah so then why is he mad at me that's not my problem oh my why? god that's actually funny are you inserting yourself into like, Didi and Nader's like, relationship when 
I know. Oh my God. Block the word lasagna. One pound of ground beef. <laughs> so I'm driving. Oh, yeah, Bambi. Day. I don't blame you. There's no notes in the middle of a crackhead Olympics. It's, it's just too wild. Oh, my God. I'm getting pissed off listening to fucking mm, stupid fucking piece of crap matter talking. And then Dee Dee beside him. Like, you look stupid. You look stupid. You look so fucking stupid. Sitting there, literally, with your stupid, crappy wine. Mm, yeah, that's what I like about you, Natter. <laughs> Natter. <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh, I've never seen this in my life. Never. I think it's because you talk about him. You went to the police about Oh, my God. Him. Oxygen peroxide. The super jet look. Are you inserting yourself into Dee Dee and Natter's relationship? Ah! ITME, thank you for the super chat. She went to Lachine today or called him. Well, we found out for sure that she definitely tried to call him on Monday and was denied. And Koki and Dee Dee are the ones who told us that today. And that's why she's so mad. She's been outed. I sell the house. I want a condo in Montreal. It's over, chicken pickle. <laughs> no, my middle name is Marie Olive. Why did she just give herself a weird accent while she said Olive? It's Olive. What the fuck? Marie Olive. <laughs> what the fuck? The moment you reconcile with him, you want to escape no more than a day later. I know. I that's she just sits there going, it's never up his ass all fucking day. Why do I care that he blames me? Because it's such a slap in the face. Another one. Like, no, I'm not going to get on with my life. Tell doo-doo that I'm going to f make her fucking life hell. As best as I can legally. Oh, my God. Leave Dee Dee alone, for the love of God. And you need Dee Dee living, living, you You already have yeah. been for the last nine months. Piss off. It's amazing. For a woman who has zero stamina when it comes to anything in life, she just won't fuck off with this. It's like a dog with a fucking bone. Really? Bad there in her melancholy there. She says she has dreams about him every night there. You dumb bitch. What are you fucking, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't want a chance. Are you kidding? Lily of the you Valley, thank really you so much for the Super Jack girl. You need to read between the lines. <laughs> How quickly I was replaced. Please. How did he dump me when I literally, on live, declined apartments I was supposed to get with him? Because you only declined the second and third no, apartment. The first one, it was lot like in person that you found out that you needed the first month's rent to sign a lease. So you were forced to decline the second and third one on live stream because you were too broke to pay the first month's rent. Sh stop it, Chantal. This whole day played out on live stream. We know exactly what happened. Stop trying to change the story. You didn't decline no. shit. It broke your heart that you couldn't get him in an apartment. I know he's a fucking crazy person. But. Yeah, it does, Jen. 
Oh, absolutely. Sweetness. I totally agree that's with you. So Didi and Koki, in all honesty, are dying for views, uh, money, of incredible. course. They tell that Chantal messaged her. What happens is totally. But you know who else is dying right now for views and coins and everything else? Chantal. So she's very happy right now to be playing Crackhead Olympics again, too. I miss him because I think of all the good times. And then I hear oh, stop him talk it. so much shit about me and 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 blame me and, and call me the most evil person when I used to love him so much. Keely, it fucking no. sucks, man. <gasps> Keely, thank you for the super chat. It's Marie Olive. Oh, wait. I'll leave it the most. <laughs> I'll leave it the most. <laughs> All the snow in Lachine. Mama Grizz. Mama Grizz. Right? Mama Grizz is not wrong. Dee Dee's losing weight from all that snow Mama falling Grizz. in Lachine. Uh -huh. Will you protect me against the cartels? I'm just kidding. Chantal's unhinged memories. Look at me, Prime Beach. Where should be? Maybe five hey, times star. compared to the heartache every week. I know. Go watch Sam's Bar Lounge videos. <clears throat> that's what makes me sad too I wish all that wasn't true I wish it wasn't like that stop being sad get mad again come on oh she got a face like she's mad I miss Holly. <laughs> See when he's snorting. It looks like a foot. It did affect me. You heard me freaking out and losing my shit when I saw the Sam's Bar Lounge. So how can how can I still feel that way? I see it's been a long time since I've seen him in person. Like oh my god, oxygen peroxide, that was hilarious. <laughs> He's raging about me. Are you thinking about me when you fuck her? Yeah, he is, and I know it. Yeah, no, he's definitely not thinking of a starfish while he gets ridden. Come on, girl. Get, get your head out of your ass. He's trying to forget any moment he ever spent with said starfish. I know, Desert Highway is gross. God, I just saw someone in the chat say she's hard to watch in real time, and fuck yeah, she is. That's the old videos because it was Dee Dee being hit. That's why you call him and still love him. You don't care if he is abusive. Thanks, that's Jam. I don't think that's the real S Jam because the no. look, it said US dollars. S Jam's in Canada. Why would it say US dollars? That's weird. I don't think that's real. I did care less about the abuse than him cheating. And I don't know why. Like, I really don't. Hey, goth goddess. When I saw that, saw the video, it affected me a lot. Like, I was very triggered by it. Yeah, it affected you so much that just this past uh, Monday, you were trying to get with Koki again. That's how much it affected you. You're so fake. Shut up, Chantal. Nothing affects you unless it's about you. you and you'd be still be, so what do you think he would do? You would have been dead. See, I don't think of that. Don't hey, Camburglar. Thanks sure. for being here. Thank you for the super chat. The it's uh, one hell of a, a night tonight. We're going to rage stream. Right. I don't know, Golden Girl.
Absolutely, Lori. I said that since the beginning and I stand by that. Sucks, man. Hey, Mama Grizz. Long time no see. Except I did see your comment in Chantal's chat. And yeah, you're bang on about that one. Dee Dee is losing weight from all the snow falling in Lachine. And it seems like if Chantal is losing any, it's for the same reason. The signs are all there. Mental health, yeah. <laughs> Box Mountain. She's stuck with him now. Said I'm invisible, but yeah, he's still talking about you. Hell yeah, oxygen peroxide. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, we were watching, girl. <laughs> the the color drained from her face. <laughs> He's trash and this is not about DD. This tirade is about him and it's sad. Hey, Suzanka. A lumberjack. My voice just cracked. Hey, Suzanka. Sorry. I would be screwed if I had to subject myself to my abuser online every day talking shit about me. Oh, no. Trust the vidity. Thank you for the super chat. You're probably right. Now we're going to have to start all over again with the processing her. and you we don't know what she's videos. been through. I know our why. All oh, I forget all the bad stuff. He the thing is is he did you not hear him in his live verbatim? Cause you know I was not bad to you. He could snap and kill you. Oh my god, 48 hour fiance. We fish star many time. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. I just had a really unhappy vision of living with him. Uh, nice to see you, Kelly. I hope you're doing well. Oh my God. Okay, let's let's imagine I live with him. Oh Jesus. What do you think would happen? <laughs> Girl, he'd probably be locked up again two years minus a day. Oh, Although I think the second offense, they would have given him a longer sentence, but you know how it ends with the girlfriends. Shank, 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 girl, come on. That's what I mean. He believes that I was bad to him. He would stop me in the first month. There you go. They know. Oh my God. Goodbye, Kyle. Okay. When we ended our stream the other day, I saw your name right at the end and I was like, Oh my God. And I was typing a message, but the stream had already ended. Tell me goodbye, Kyle. Is your name a reference to uh real housewives of Beverly Hills? Ken telling Kyle like to get out of the house pretty much. Goodbye, Kyle. Is that what your name is? Or is that just a coincidence? It seems weird to be a coincidence. Narcs always, always play the victim Chantal. Yeah, well, I don't want him to be the one of those. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm mad at the reality and I can't face it. And I just, just depressed me even more. Like I was already mentally ill. He, they always say that. He always says, she's mentally ill. She's mentally ill. Ah. <sighs> It's fucking time. hilarious. Red plot. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> yeah, I want everything Dee Dee has. Boring everything. Muted condo. Yeah, no thanks. 
Anyway, do not forget to free. Oh my God! Goodbye, Kyle. It is the reference. Oh, I love your name so much, girl. Oh, girl, I know you guys care. You look insane. I know, like with like blue eyeshadow all the way up to the fucking eyebrows. You're talking about people's makeup now? Um, okay, Sharmuti with the soot, whatever you need to tell yourself. I don't want to do things to, like, upset you guys. You know what I mean? But I do want to just always be honest about my feelings. He sat there and was like, my dad raised me good. He said not to lie. And if you lie, to fix it. Maybe that's what bugs me is, where's my justice? You never fucking apologized to me. Where's my justice? You never justice? said anything to me. Oh, she's doing the little fucking voice. It's like she knows he's watching and she's doing the bleh, the voice now. Oh, I'm puke. Like, I feel really fucking hurt. No one cares! I Take your fucking hurt to therapy. Took him to appointments. I picked his teeth. I, I made whole onion chicken soup from scratch when he was really sick oh you should we should we make her go crazy again you didn't make chicken soup from scratch it wasn't from scratch girl stop it oh my god do you remember how many months she went on about that fucking chicken soup it wasn't from scratch kiki thank you so much for the super chat girl all is fucked in every way like Yeah, the year has come full circle. It's a whole ass year later. We're coming back to the soup. It wasn't homemade. It wasn't from scratch. I mean, it was homemade from fucking boxed ingredients. It was not from scratch. And he didn't want to eat it. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> I picked his teeth. Because he had a cavity. And I was going to take him to the dentist and get his teeth fixed. Oh, fuck off. And he had a cavity. And... It would bug him if food would have get in it, so. Capricorn NJ, oh my God, thank you for the super chat. No, I have not. We have different ads than you guys here. We like, oh, I don't have ads for DirecTV because we don't have DirecTV, but I will go find that ad. Thank you for telling me, girl. You know those picks, the toothpicks? Yeah. Yeah. Girl, that chicken soup oh my God. from scratch. Raven. Oh my God. <laughs> Raven. No. Hey, Angela. <laughs> Charlotte. Gnarly. I wouldn't touch his teeth with Dee Dee's finger. Stop! I'm about to throw up. <laughs> he didn't appreciate anything. And he ripped me off a lot. You know, I did a lot for him. Stop whining for fuck's sake. When you can you imagine a 38 year old woman whining the sentence and he ripped me off a lot? You don't get to whine about getting ripped off in a drug transaction at 38 years old. No, bitch. You don't get to complain about that. That should be internalized mortification. What did she say? Was it $300 for a gram of mush? Girl, be embarrassed for yourself and keep that shit in your own fucking head. They have the nerve. They help him, Brittany. It was cruel to you. It makes sense you are hurt. Yes. <laughs> Mama Grizz. <laughs> what? I'm an adult and I shouldn't be crying over this. Oh, yes, Bambi. You heard that equation, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Holly. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Phoenix flying, thank you for the super chat. Picking his teeth equals love. Holy. <laughs> Show is floor pickle. Okay, Beezers, let's talk about Monty beating animals. <laughs> no. Go tell him to F off. Piece of crap. <laughs> Chicken pickle, you freak.
Chicken pickle, follow-up question. Picking with a toothpick or picking with their fingernail? Ugh. Oh my God, maybe that's why she went back to those talons. Look at the look at the, the point on that. Is that to get in between Koki's teeth? Get into his cavities? Is it like, if you play in my cavities, I'll play in yours? Well, that's, what, that's what's wrong with me. Uh. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't even remember. It's like I blocked that shit out of my memory. West, uh, West Coast girl, thank you for the super chat. The soup had cheese in it. Can you imagine you're in bed with the flu? You just want a little fucking broth to feel better. And some bitch makes you some box soup and then grates cheese on top of it. Fuck all the way off. No wonder he dumped you for D. No, I'm kidding. Sort of. But oh god, that's it. <laughs> Girl. To do laundry. Oh my god, oxygen peroxide. Look at oxygen peroxide's coming. Who stole your outfit off my past grandma? <laughs> Lambo, right? Oh he hates you like every other narc supply he has ever used. Hey, Cornwall doll. <laughs> 48 hour fiance. We fish star many time. Yes. Thank you for the super chat. The, the person that, that fucking bitch supports wears fucking musty Adidas every day. Fuck out of here. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, I know you did not just come from musty Adidas while you sit there in a grandma's fucking curtains, bitch. Are you out of your fucking mind? You're going to pick this battle again? How about you fit into some fucking Adidas before you even touch my fucking Adidas, bitch? Falafels. Paying for a fucking crackhead's falafels and he won't even sell you any falafels because he don't want jack shit to do with you. And he doesn't want any of his balls anywhere near your damn mouth. And you're still going to try and talk about my fucking Adidas. Fuck Whatever. you. Oh, I could go for a falafel right now. <clears throat> I get real defensive when she starts with the fucking Adidas stuff. She could never. Oh, Let me tell you, I have so much Adidas shit. I'm sure not only it could pay the balance on her fucking Kia, it could uh, pay you to fix Koki's teeth too. How about that? You fucking broke bums. That stupid idiot thinks. She's the one doing coke. Oh. This bitch just said that I'm the one doing coke, girl. I'm sitting here gelato minting as we speak. Just because my brain and my mouth move quickly than or quicker than yours because I haven't fried every fucking brain cell in my head. That doesn't mean I'm on the sniff sniff, girl. We leave all that for all of you. Enjoy. <laughs> fucking weirdo. Gemini, no. Ew, Delaware Pearl, that is so disgusting. Thank you for the super chat. I, I, I'm picking the tooth. I am picking the shit out of that tooth. <laughs> Don't encourage your terrible fashion. I'll sit in my bra if you want. I'll leave. <laughs> yeah. Off my tears. People are sick. Who's here? Yeah, why are we drug shaming? You all act like you don't do drugs. Whatever, fuck off. Listen up, yeah, crackhead. You and I are both sitting here right now with the J in our hands. The point is, that's the only thing I partake in. Stop it with your fucking drug shaming and all your bullshit. You're saying that now to try and save face because you know damn right that I don't do that shit. Nobody's brain is this quick and on point when they're cracked out of their mind. That's you fucking three. The three of you, and I'm including Didi because it's clear what's going on, okay? Girl, shut the fuck up. Stop trying to project your shit onto everyone else. We can buy weed whenever the fuck we want to. 
I can smoke weed whenever the fuck I want to, and no mitten is going to tell me what to do. Okay. Fuck you and your fucking made up Menton. No one gives a shit. You only were even talking to some rando named Menton trying to make Koki jealous. You know how we all know that? Because you were trying to contact Koki that same day. You are so <laughs> transparent. I just want a boyfriend I can sit bored at Christmas functions with. You had one. His name was BB. You know, the one that got away, sucker. Ransom13, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. What? Okay, tomorrow, just to be an asshole, we're going to go live twice tomorrow. One on Twitch and one over here. Over on Twitch, we're going to do two retro reactions because I always had, I already had a quick one in my mind. And now another one just popped into my mind. Tomorrow, I would like us to take a look at an old video from the archive of Chantal way, way, way back in the day when she was still with BB. And it was at the beginning of her channel. And there was still even a chemistry between her and BB. They clearly had just gotten high. They were giggly as all hell. They had smoked up and he's putting makeup on her let's break her heart a little and remind her of the one who got away tomorrow on twitch all right we'll say noon my time noon eastern time so, boom let's show this dipshit the one good thing from the seven years of I've been watching her, the one good thing she's had going in her life, and it was BB. Yeah, and I will stick to this forever. BB will forever be the one that got away, and she will never have somebody who actually cared for her the way BB did until she fucked that up, too. Hey. Boop. What else can we say? They're fucking pathetic. <laughs> Tony? Oh, yeah. He said he's mad at me because I disappeared on him. <laughs> he tried contacting me throughout the long weekend, but I just wasn't in the mood, you know? Fuck, I was in a bad mood the long weekend. I was so sad. <laughs> yeah, nemesis, a bloop bloop. I thought I heard a child giggling. I think it's the it's the fucking doll. Rain and pomegranates eavesdrop. <laughs> Shut up. Ah, goodbye, <laughs> Kyle. I agree with you. At a certain I moment in time, that, yeah, you could see like whatever they had was over. But that's why I specifically want to go back to this video tomorrow because I remember. I just the way he's putting the makeup on her, the way he touches her face, the way they're giggling together, the way they're looking at each other. You could tell there was there was at one point something really there and it was still there in that video. So I just want to break her heart. We're going to watch it. Me and me, baby. That's like all he does is talk about these but goes on these rants and I'm just like, I can't do it. I want to squeeze your head in. And Dee Dee just sits there going, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> he was never genuine. He might have been, but he never was. He was using you. It's sick and sad, but true. And he doesn't deserve a minute more of your time. Anything I don't have to be alive. Well, thank you for seeing it, Breezeth. No, hell no. Nah. I didn't see the beef. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. No, you can't come up here, Chevy. You. Hey, big boy. Okay. <laughs> he ran from his military duties. He uses too many logical fallacies. He does. 
Yeah, Missy Mel. Whoa, he has like does. He always does that too. <laughs> yeah, lay off the wine and cigarettes, doo doo. Says the woman who spends half her money on weed that she doesn't even inhale. And also needs inhalers. Mm. Fat starfish. Fat, ugly, fat, chocolate starfish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So now she's not only calling the cat fat, but she's calling the cat starfish. Okay, girl. Stop projecting onto the cat. There's only one fat starfish around here, and it's not the big boy. <laughs> Oh, chubby youth. Ooh, Azuri, thank you for the super chat. That is fantastic, girl. Good luck. Ooh, I hope it goes well. That's great. Hi, Sam. Love bug. You love bug. Oh yeah. Uh, goodbye, Kyle. Every time I see your name across the stream, I say it to myself in Ken's voice in my own head. Goodbye, Kyle. <laughs> love it. I don't know. Is that Nutter's apartment in Egypt? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Did you see that? I think it was a big bug. Is it the trap? No, it's not. DDS really defends whenever someone mentions how she made her mom go on camera with that. Oh my God. Okay, Ryan, maybe when my voice is back like 100%, because I feel like if I do that for more than like a couple of sentences now, I'm going to lose it again and then I'm going to be big pissed. <laughs> so dramatic. Like you had to make a whole live title about it. And then they have to both sit there and drink wine and go, <laughs> fuck up. Me there? And then her, she's just going, What the fuck? Mm -hmm. what? What, is what is it? Everything, she acts like everything he does is like the shit. Oh, yes, man. So did you. Are you fucking out of your mind? Oh my god. Oh my god. Why would you even want a yes man like that? I would be like, shut up. Do I not ever do anything wrong or what? I don't know. Falafel is so good. It's like mushed up chickpeas. No, the falafel he makes has fava. Oh, fava beans. <laughs> Malacca. And it's like ground up with spices and fried. <laughs> oh, it's where FFG lives? There you go. You want to piss Didi off? Repeat the thing about her mother. Oh, that was the picture that that stupid ass had put up. It was like a Motel Six or something. Oh God. Okay. You forced her to eat one. We remember your yes man days. Yeah, but not as bad as her. Oh my God, I'm not even nearly as bad. Shit. No, actually, you're worse in my opinion because you, um came to the internet constantly telling everybody what a piece of shit he was, but then would turn right around two days later and tell everybody what a Prince Charming he was. At least she consistently lies and just says he's a good guy. You're nuts. I mean, like, and she's also nuts, but you're extra nuts. You mean you forced me to apologize and lie? Yeah. Was it her apartment building? Beef stroganoff. Not even fucking close. I don't live in an apartment building like that. Bloop. 
apologize for wearing your blanket. Yeah, and I just, that was like, that was media kit I bought for myself. And I said, oh my God, not the, the media kit. We're not going back. This media kit bullshit was a year ago. We're not talking about some $25 bullshit media kit. Come on. Did anything. What? Pathetic. Pathetic. She's saying she'll hurt people coming after her family. Hell, that bitch swore on her mama's life and lied. Exactly. So did Chantal. She swore on her grandmother's life and lied also. So who is she to shit on Didi for doing the same? All three of them actually in this situation have swore on people's lives and then lied. So all three need to shut up about like blaming the other one for doing it. <laughs> You wouldn't address it, Biden. I don't want to thank. Oh, I don't want to thank you. Nope. <laughs> Tran Shamer. Hi, Stephanie. No, I didn't even bother. I went to the house, and I'm like, this is. Too fucking far on <laughs> poetics. I'm like, there's no way Judy and Green Bean can live off his YouTube. No. Damn it. He needs to take some cooking classes before his trail house. <laughs> yeah, breezeth. Have you addressed to the guest the image person? I, we were, were just laughing car. about it. That's not even close. I don't live in an apartment building looking ass thing like that. I think that might have been a motel thing. I have no freaking idea, but uh <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Have you addressed it? It's so serious. <laughs> My official statement is <laughs> blue. <laughs> made me feel like shit all the time. I know. It's just this choice of words that have you addressed it. It's so fucking serious. You know, the irony, remember last year and I was going through with Negs and the anti-haters. I was so nervous about being doxxed and it really, it scared the shit out of me. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Something has shifted and it's this month and the loss of my little boy and everything. And now I think to myself, okay, what am I now? I'm sitting here. I don't have the little one to take care of anymore. It's just me and a pit bull in here. <laughs> Marhaba to my house. If anybody, you know, like has those balls, um, good luck. And you get to meet Maggie and it's probably the last thing you'll ever meet in your life. So bloop. God, to be without emotion, I would rather be dead. 300 for grandma mushrooms. So why do I miss him? Do you miss picking his teeth? No, you, I miss. <laughs> Throwing my whole purse across the room. He is dangerous. Turkey. Oh my God. It's okay. She's it's, it's happening now. Should we do like a five, 10 minute, maybe see if she picks up the momentum again, because right now she just like breathe <laughs> said the word Turkey. Yeah. Um, it's getting too dry. Anyway, <clears throat> doesn't matter. Right. Hitting himself. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's it. It's the edible, in my opinion. Allegedly conspiracy, whatever. The edible's kicking in. Yeah. <laughs> it's the greatest pickle. <laughs> Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. Using the super chat to get this off my chest. I hate when people tell creators to address it. Rude. Creators will do what they want uh, with their channels. You can ask them things, not demand. That's a good point. Appreciate it. Um, I mean, if it was something serious, they're like, they put up a, a picture of some crack house looking, I don't even know what the fuck. And they're like, uh, Frenchie, have you addressed it? It's like so fucking serious. Chill, man. Like, I don't know. I say this all the time, and I guess I'm going to keep saying it. Just in my opinion, some people in this community take this shit way too seriously like chill laugh it's okay <laughs> no i don't want anything from him mandy thank you for the super chat no i didn't i got the notification but i haven't been home all day i will be checking it out after the stream you know i will i love me some chicken pickle Bad lip reading is the funniest shit I've ever seen. Specifically, the way chicken pi chicken pickle, you are just so good at it. Oh. What? Oh, my God, girl. Stop with the BS and move on. You're all over the place, especially when you're so high. Ready, set, free, please. Thanks, VJP. You do the best impressions, queen. <laughs> you're lucky we can remember for you. Thanks, guys. You never talked about BB like this is an actual good man. Yeah. <clears throat> she misses his cough. You don't think I was in love with him? Yeah, I know. Cornwall, though, he rages a lot. I hate his rages. God. Don't you just want to go and like throw a bucket of cold water in her face and maybe you'll make her snap the fuck out of it? Oh, I know, I know. oh my God. Somebody needs to tell her my trick. I have a trick now. When you get shit faced like that, like the, not shit faced like this, but it's the burnout and she's not even, never mind. I'm keeping my trick to myself. <laughs> He just has the nerve to be like, she just wants everything to just be normal after everything she's done. Like everything I've done, what? Oh Always, eh, Patricia, with the fucking pasties. Oh my God. You guys know, I sit here, I smoke the whole time we stream, usually all the time, right? Have you ever even once heard a fucking pasty word, even one come out of my mouth? No, never. Because you know that you're going to smoke. You know that you're going to talk. You have a fucking drink next to you. How is that so difficult? What is wrong with you, Chantal? Get a drink. I know, Jay. <laughs> No, uh, apologize to Nana for what? Fuck that. Oh, I should go to Jamaica for a while. Oh, I come on. Here we go. Oh, well, I did. It looks like God made him and forgot to put skill points into personality. And he's so Emily, <laughs> Emily, you spelled burger wrong. Burger. Is that good enough? Pulled off his mask and he was old Mr. Withers that ran the carnival. No, Veronica <laughs> wants coffee. Edibles are not painful at all. She's grimacing because she's got 16 million uh, fucking health problems, but the edibles ain't one. That's not at all our problem. Yeah, Sherry. Let's crack open the wine. 
Mm, Bonito's okay. girl. That's a good observation. It's true. It's been so long. I forgot the pattern, but you're right. Normally, if she comes for me now in this dream, she called me fuck face right at the beginning and she came for the Adidas. That's looking Koki's ass. We know. No Wayne Gunsky. Can you imagine Phoenix flying? Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I'm a therapist. <laughs> Pelvic pain. It was a slap in the soup. I have quickly. I was replaced. Are you thinking of me when you stop? <laughs> oh my God, you <laughs> starfish. Walrus, Chevron. Nana and Didi are alive. No, I'm not fake crying. Swatted his cat. Yeah. What? Yeah, what, what oh, I like? wish she wouldn't have taken the edible. You know, like if she hadn't taken the edible, we might have gotten like a prolonged rage stream tonight. I'm completely I'm blaming the edible. Damn it. It's not fair. Sussy Wolfcat, thank you so much for the super sticker. Sorry, Mama Jean. <laughs> Shut up, crack noir. Oh my God, Crack yeah, Noir in the chat line. <laughs> You're going to have to start paying us to listen to this crap. What do you want to talk about? Let's change the subject then. These nails are hideous now. No? Do you like them? They match. Pizza party. Ooh. <laughs> Crack Noir! We saw you, girl. <laughs> Shiv Cornwall. <laughs> KD, thank you for the info and the super chat. But it's not out of pain, right? You're not like in any oh kind of pain. God. It's just weird random faces because like edibles. <laughs> oh. Not one redeeming book. It's so true. Ah, that makes sense to me now. We had used to a lot of words. Y'all just straight up fucked that one up. Okay, West Coast girl. Thank you for the super chat. I think you're right. <laughs> oh my God, fuck. <clears throat> you guys. You guys. <laughs> Ew, Kevin. You love these nails? How dare someone tell her they love those nails? Stop it! Okay, I'll look at it after pelvic pain. It's a it's a doo doo one. <sighs> Do you think he actually loves her? Oh my god, no, he doesn't. Come on. No, no, he couldn't stand to be around you, and he definitely doesn't love Dee Dee. How's that? No. <laughs> Sassy Wolfcat, thank you again for the Super Chat, girl. Oh my God, a lot of coffee. I'm with you, girl. I wish you could speed her up, too. That's the only bitch thing when you watch her in real time. Fuck. I had no feelings for him at all. Like, I just met him. Like, you declared that you were in love with him. Is she talking about Koki now or the Menton guy? Because Menton was only meant to make Koki jealous. She didn't give a damn. And if she's talking about Koki, that's a lie. She declared that she was in love with him in 15 days. 
He loves it the most. I know. So why did you say you were in love? KD, thank you again for the super chat, girl. Um, well, because I, th I mean, I thought I was, I guess. You guys think I was? I don't know. Yeah, I know. Chandra, can you even believe this? Yeah, Let's go fuck her up. I left him a lot. Hey, Moon Mike. Chris Crack. Why are you worried about his forgiveness, babe? The best revenge is to work on yourself. Then you can pull any man. I'm down 100 pounds. You can do it. Awesome. Congratulations, Chris Cross. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Forgiveness. I did love him. Snowy. I think that would be perfect. He didn't run away from military duties. How do you know? Yeah, Chris Carr seems positive. Hey, Moonlight. I lost four pounds only today. No, I think you were trolling with me. No, oh, I wasn't, wasn't trolling. trolling. Annie B. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely do I that after the stream, girl. Donald's oh, fucking Sunday. Sunday. I'll just, I'll DM you, okay? Super. I became super optimistic. About should we order McDonald's? I became super optimistic about what about Oh my god, did she she just took another bite of edibles? Uh oh. McGuns, yeah. We're gonna make it. No, I'm kidding. Nice, Biden. Good for you, Biden. Hey, Aisha. Okay, y'all, I, I, I know we've been going more than five minutes since I said it last time, but this will be five minutes because... Mm, this sucks. Okay, she's lost it now. She's putting on makeup. No, no. Uh-uh. A fraction. Of. Hey, Sam. <laughs> of Putin. <laughs> I know I got to delete new words, too. Oh, yeah, if that makes it makes sense. Angry little sponge. It's a fucking troll who's been doing it for months, but had taken a break and now started doing it again. That's all right. Okay. Hi. Hi. No. I feel bad for animals. It must suck to be an animal. Did he tell you why? Did she just said she feels it? bad for animals because it would suck yeah. to be an animal? The Depends whose animal you are. It would suck to be one of your cats, but it would be awesome to be one of my dogs. So it all depends on what animal you are. Mm? I'm leaving about that. And like that, it was fucking everybody behind my back. I fucking lied about it. Oh, he won't tell a reason why he fled Egypt? Oh. I thought he did. He didn't work for the military. Oh, can you imagine? Look at her right now. High out of her mind. Mouth open. Oh, look at that. It froze. 
staring into your chat. And this is what you call your job. I think the doll just moved. Jimmy use. <laughs> and, and. Oh, 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 oh. Recli recliner goddess, recliner goddess in her chat. When are you going to thank the reaction channels for covering you? Your numbers dive when they ignore you. <laughs> Truth. And I did give him shit about BBJ because I went, you scared my cat. He went, don't you know? Don't you think I feel bad about that? <laughs> Sorry, my reenactment is really dramatic. Carla oh, Cupcakes. Shit. Welcome to Very Important Views. Ready, set, peace. Welcome, Carla. Yes, pretty when you're drunk. St. Viators are superior, in my opinion, and in most people's opinion. Then there's Fairmount, and there's like, I mean, they're good, but they're not St. Viators. Mm -hmm. It's just different. Make Chevy make booze. Over here now, please. Leave her. Hey. Can. Oh, oh, my God. Chantal, do something. Make Chevy. Yeah, we should order something to eat, but... Oh, fuck off. No. In London. My cats are driving me nuts. Ooh, pretty when you're drunk. I'm sure you won't regret it. They're delicious. And they freeze really well. I'm not mourning anybody. Last night I dreamt of San Pedro. <laughs> Except San Pedro's named Koki and he's shacked up in Lachine on the purple mattress with DD Jealous. Oh, well, <laughs> hello there, Jackass. How you doing? <laughs> I mean, I mean, fat apples. <laughs> She's still talking about me. Where, bitch? I didn't talk about you. Sam. Yeah, Sam. Hey, Chubby. Chubby. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm trying to catch it back in so he can play with it. Play with it. Oh, oh damn. No. Mandy, that's fucking it's crazy. I mean, they're good, stuff. but it's, it's just a fucking bagel. Stop. It's not that good. Nothing's that good. You fucking be there. Okay. <laughs> Chris Cross. Welcome to Very Important Beauty. Ready, ship, be. 
welcome, Chris Cos. Welcome, welcome. Those perfume scents. Sam. Damn it, girl. Don't be bringing our private tea from Twitter to the YouTubes. <laughs> Sam. Okay, tomorrow I have to do housework. Oh, well, that is riveting. Something to look well, forward to. Chris Cos, welcome. Yeah, that's a great idea. Angry little sponge. Imagine, like, she sees the cat fucking attacking BBJ, always attacking BBJ. Imagine if she would be like, you know what, guys? I'm just sitting here. I'm not even saying anything. Why don't I end my stream and go play with my cats? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Snowy, the edibles happened. Wah, wah. Okay, y'all, I think I'm going to call it. Are we done here? I think we're done here. Hey, Diego. Oh, look, it's that motherfucker, Diego. He, I didn't even realize. Remember that troll, Diego, get fucked, Diego, and stuff? We went off on Diego. I didn't realize it was a beezer. I just thought it was a random piece of shit. <laughs> You're even shittier of a piece than I thought you were. Isn't that great for you, Diego? Get fucked and stay fucked, Diego. Oh, shit. They pick up bad. Okay, fuck this. Only vote. My, you are too high. <laughs> Fuck all that noise. Yes, I know. I know. Listen, we were all promised a rage stream. We got one. We had one. At least we got one. I'm going to say I'm thankful for the rage stream that we actually got tonight. I'm disappointed that she took that fucking edible and fucked everything up for the second one. However, I have a feeling. Here's what I'm hoping. Anyway, a feeling, a hope. I have a feeling. Because she's obsessed with Koki. We know she watches every word that Koki puts online. Now, Koki ended his stream with Didi while she was live. She hasn't watched all of his stream. And apparently he raged about her for like two hours talking mad shit. So I think she'll end the stream tonight, be comatose, pass out, go to bed on her edible, whatever, whatever, whatever. Then tomorrow. She will wake up in the morning and watch Koki's stream. She won't be high as balls. She won't have taken an edible. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, she's going to turn on the live stream. And I feel like our rage stream will probably continue tomorrow. She just has to see his stream. His stream is going to piss her all the way off. She was so mad already. She hasn't seen the half of it yet. So I think for tonight, y'all, it's a to be continued of this rage stream. We're not done here because Koki was really going off tonight. So the plan for tomorrow, okay, noon Eastern time, 12 o'clock noon, my time. We're going to be live on Twitch. We're going to do those two retro reacts that I really, really want to watch. We're going to break her heart with that video of bb that i see a lot of you guys don't even think that this really exists he's like hated being around her the whole time no 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 this video is a one of a kind okay we're gonna watch those together and then uh you know if she happens to be live we happen to be there you know we're gonna dip in take a little look see what's going on you know we will then we will be live later in the day around our regular hour over here on this channel okay hopefully to watch the Raid streams, crackhead Olympics. You know what? I'll even, I, I, you know how much I can't stand him. 
I'm going to go and take a look at some of his rage stream for tonight. Pick out at least some clips, okay? Blur his face, puts a clown emoji over his face. I don't know how we'll do it. I don't want to show his motherfucking face on the channel. It'll be a clown, something like that, whatever. We will take a look at the highlights or lowlights, however you want to look at it, from his rage stream tonight. And then we'll be able to watch her continue on with her rage tomorrow because I'm pretty sure she'll continue on. She just has to see what he was saying today. <gasps> Y'all, Crackhead Olympics, it's on. Yes! <laughs> Jade, thank you so much for the Super Chat Girl. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you to everybody for being here. Guys, we haven't had a rage stream in a while. A genuine one anyway. It's been a long, long time or it feels like it's been a long, long time anyway. That was so much fun. So much fun. God damn it. I swear we haven't had a stream like that. It's, it feels like months. I feel like tonight we relit the Olympic torch. We are back. Crackhead Olympics. There was ping pong going on tonight. I'm excited. It, mm, it just feels right. I feel nostalgic. Spring, summer, or September. This bitch will always be going fucking nuts. So I love that for us. Anyway, y'all, thank you again so, so much for being here. I had such a good stream today. Yes, bitch. <laughs> Bambi, I hope you enjoyed your first real, genuine crackhead Olympics. Glad you could be here for that one. Everybody, so glad you could all be here for that one. Thank you again for being here. Everybody, like I said, tomorrow, noon Eastern, live on Twitch. And then later on in the evening, at our usual time, we will be live on this channel to catch up again. And fingers crossed, watch a second raid stream together. Ah! Everybody, please be safe. Keep your masks on. And I'll meet you back on Twitch at noon tomorrow. Bye, guys.